do we follow the clearly marked signs? Or do we freak out? What's up, YouTube? I'm sure by now you've heard of the collapse on I-85 over here. The bridge is taken out by a fire underneath. And this is the aftermath. Well, we all try to merge up in here. But too many people are just trying to be too selfish to do the merge thing. Like, man, you zipper in, then you zipper in. But instead, we all sit and stare at each other. is down over here both sides I-85 so they've got us pushed over here onto this little access road that will get us up to 85 north to take me up to the suburbs so I can take a friend of mine some food he uh, has some health issues and hasn't been able to make it out to the store or anything lately so But man, it's been kind of amazing how fast they have rebuilt this. I hope they're planning on uh, making sure it's safe before they release it to people. But they have been working 24 hours a day. They've got millions of dollars in bonuses if they get this done on time or early. That's a, yeah, they got a lot of money on the lines. They've hired a whole lot of extra crew. And so it's getting crazy. Uh, dude, I would have let you over if you had to come on up, but since you can sit back there and kind of be a douche about it, you don't get to come up here. Uh, anyway, this is all confusing to all these people, so they're freaking out, and they're not able to handle this little bit mild road that's <laughs> squeezed down a little bit. This guy's more interested in this conversation with his passenger than keeping up with the traffic. Or else we get up here and you can see the section that they're working on. And you can obviously see where the cranes and stuff are. Come on, dude, pay attention. God, you're killing me here. chance to stretch my hands. Yeah, there's the new beams are already across. Man, they'll be pouring the freaking road in there within a couple weeks. They have a concrete factory they built right there off to the side of the road just for this. It's kind of amazing. I'm so glad you jumped over here in front of me just to where the confusion starts again. I don't know. Do we follow the clearly marked signs? Or do we freak out? A lot of these people are opting for the freaking out. <laughs> Doesn't help that horse trailer guy here has decided that he'll be in the left lane and just block everything. I-85 closure, there it is. Till next time. Peace.